And I'm happy to be uh, the first one to get the salary. Cause Larry, uh, Katie, and uh, uh, Juan Dolan, and all the, the lawyers and the students who work with, it's just been wonderful. It's just incredible. They get some, some incredible people. You care about people. And I want to try to make a difference. Police officers decided 30 seconds into this investigation that Julie had done it. They had who they believed was the perpetrator, and then they shaped the evidence to that. Today is a day for uh, celebrating justice. Today is a day to begin a healing process, a mourning process that has been delayed for nine years. Justice delayed, but finally found. As Julie struggles to put the pieces of her life back together, her memories of Joel provide some solace. They knew I loved him more than anything else in the world with me every day, wherever I am. Nineteen eighty seven, despite their unwavering protests of innocence, the two men were convicted. Herb Whitlock got life and Randy Steidel the death penalty. files yet another appeal based both on ineffective counsel and also on a new claim that the prosecution withheld evidence. This time an appeals court sees it his way and finally on January 8, 2008 Whitlock gets the news he has waited so long to hear. 61 year old Herb Whitlock of Freeman. His conviction is overturned.
my mom cup of coffee and sitting on the deck and listen to the birds start to wake up and the fresh air and just saying this is what life's all about. now 48, walking out of Stateville Prison this afternoon, a free man. Nearly three decades ago, as a teenager with learning disabilities, he signed a written statement confessing to the murder of 15-year-old Christina Hickey, a sophomore at Rich East High School, raped and murdered on a fall night in 1984. They held him for two days in the police station and questioned him, and he finally was coerced into signing a false Angel Gonzalez, flanked by his attorneys, was all smiles as he left the prison. He just hit me like a cold water in the face. <laughs> but it's so great to finally be here free. Gonzalez's release from Dixon Correctional Center comes a day after a judge vacated his conviction and 55-year sentence. Gonzalez exonerated by DNA evidence that showed he couldn't have been one of the two men who kidnapped and raped a woman in Waukegan in 1994. Deep in my heart felt like one day, somehow, somewhere, I didn't know how, help is going to arrive from where I didn't know all the time, and everything's going to be clear. Just trying to soak it all up, man. You know, just try to get on with my life and, um, you know, do something productive. His mother died two years ago, and he says it's hard to know she's not here to see this. But he knows she's looking down smiling. Find my way, do something productive, and get my life back together, you know, and um, make my mom proud. And that's what he tells us he plans to do, because this is a moment he will never forget. And he hopes other people get the opportunity, too. There's a lot of guys in, the, in, the, in those prisons right now that are you know, innocent for things that they didn't do. But they're locked up, so I want to help. I want to help out a 